Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with some more Xbox emulation, courtesy of Zemu, which on January the 6th released a brand new build. So I figured why not test it out, and while at it we will be testing it with Brute Force, and seeing how the game plays with it. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right in, see how it handles it. Still loading up, that's okay. There we are. So the cutscenes can have issues like this. We'll see if it's just exclusive to that one. No, no, it is not. So yeah, all the cutscenes seem to have that particular audio issue. Something still worth noting. So the game is not perfect. However, to say that it is... Actually, let's change the difficulty. Because I think it was... Yeah, standard. We'll go to hard because... That's where we should go. All right. Yeah, so all the cutscenes are having that issue with the audio, which is unfortunate, but hey. Now, how does it actually get run in game? The answer for the most part is decent uh, now, although there is issues with frame rate drops at higher resolutions so since we are at times three i'll play till i notice uh, some noticeable drop but uh, once it does i'll just drop it down to times two and we can see that stay at the drop zone for a basic refresher course if needed otherwise proceed to the first objective marker when you are ready okay skip the tutorials hold up that drop is enough to hurt you i suggest going another route Looks like you've got company. Get ready. Your radar will track the enemy as red. So we already are seeing some frame drop, although it's not too substantial. It's still playable as this, but it is worth noting. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and drop it down to times two and see how much better it handles frame rate wise. Pretty good from the look of it. So you can notice some small glitches here and there, but the game is definitely playable, I think. The texturing issues that have been an issue, have been a problem in the past, seem to have been rectified, so that is also good. I think we got him. Yes. Avoid the uh, lava. Okay, that visual effect is new, I think. So that might actually be a bug. So it's not completely perfect, but... Might as well go ahead and get these mines taken care of, and then we will be able to carry on. You can use these mines if you really want to, but it's not necessary. This is the area where your berserk mode may come in handy. Don't hesitate to use it. So we got ourselves some more med kits, which is excellent for us. We bagged some more bad guys. And uh, yeah, I'd say we are at a place where the game is. And the frame rate doesn't seem to be too bad right now, so. So long as you are at times two, it seems to be good. At least on my machine, anyways, so. I don't think I necessarily need to use a medkit right yet. Don't forget that your squad will use ammo and medkits as needed, but they'll always leave the last medkit for you. Oh, 
Okay, still some drop there, it looks like, but it is playable. But yeah, apparently there are some frame drops even with times two, apparently. But it's not as severe as times three, it seems so. Hopefully, this will improve with time. Yeah, you claim you have plenty of fight left, but not before. But not anymore, anyways. Okay, there is another guy around here somewhere. Over here, man. Okay, we did aggro. Bagged one. Might as well just use this since. There we are. Might as well use a med pack here, because now's a good time. Because I know this area is going to be a little bit more hectic. Simple as. So, is the game playable? Short answer, yes. Although, it could still use some performance tweaks, I think, with uh, future builds of Zemu. So, yeah. But hey, we did pretty decently. So, awesome. So, I think now is a good time to just go ahead and exit out. So, uh, yeah, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.